and welcome back to more Tenchu Stealth Assassins. More Rikimaru, more ninja. So last time we made it through the checkpoint, got some hilarious rankings, Master Ninja being the best I've got so far, which I suppose isn't too bad. Execute the Corrupt Minister, level 5. Let's see what this one's all about then. Following his death, Ichigoya's ledgers were thoroughly examined. The investigation revealed a link between the merchant and a man called Kataoka, Lord Goda's finance minister. Kataoka is abusing his position, accepting bribes in return for assigning city construction projects and similar favors. Kataoka happens to be the son-in-law of Sekia, one of Lord Goda's most trusted advisors. Lord Goda knows the truth and could have Kataoka arrested, but does not want to bring unbearable shame on Sekia. Understanding his master's dilemma, Sekia has decided to resolve the matter himself and orders you to execute the corrupt finance minister. Okay. So basically, kill a dude. Um... I don't remember too much about this level either, but I'm not going to take any shurikens, I'll just take some health potions in case, and I'll leave it at that, I think. Execute the corrupt minister. Find the bodyguard first. Beware of hidden archers. Never harm the innocent. Minister Kataoka sure likes his money. What is this, Bizenya? There is more here than usual. We could not do business without you. <laughs> the money is merely a token of our appreciation. I like the way you think. What can I help you with today? We have put in bids for the construction work next month. If you could only... Leave it to me. <laughs> But remember what happened to Echigoya. Tread carefully. <laughs> it's a bit of a creepy game, kinda. But, uh, yeah. We have to find the bodyguard first, apparently. Right, we're all the way over there. And yeah, when you get to levels like this, I kinda don't remember anything about the layout, or where guards might be. So, I'm just going to try and tread carefully, as he told his dude. I will take such advice. Cool music. I like it. Right, let's stay on the rooftops. Can I... I just want to edge close enough to be able to use my... Ah. Oh my god, this is so slippery. I've never really liked this screen too much. There we go. Like when you're aiming like that, it's really slippy and can be a di bit difficult to be on target. Yeah. But yeah, that dude at the beginning was all like, Minusta got the Oka, so I like his money. He's the dude that we got to find. He's the bodyguard. I wouldn't really trust someone like that as my bodyguard. Oh, I think he's actually here. I think that's him, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. Where is Minister Kataoka? You. You're Lord Goda's ninja. How convenient of you to come here. I have orders to kill you. To kill you. I think. We shall duel. Oh, it's an archer. Bollocks. Yeah. Not two on one. An unhonorable bastard. Although, when I'm here, he can't shoot. That's pretty funny. Wait! Please. Spare my life. I will ask you just one more time. 
Where is Kataoka? The m m master is out. He, he, he should be back soon. <laughs> right, so much for Grandmaster again, but that one one isn't even my freaking fault. Uh, I ain't getting up there. So yeah, that arrow. Hey lady, ignore me. If I remember correctly. Yeah, this is actually where the minister is. Minister Kataoka, you have brought great shame on yourself. I never expected Lord Goda to catch me. Kill yourself and show me you still have some honor. I will assist you. Yes, thank you. Tell Lord Goda of how I die. I will inform Lord Goda of your honorable end. That is pretty honorable. That's, I know that Seppuku being an honorable suicide kind of thing, if you've been dishonored, I know that it's pretty honorable if you get somebody to assist you. Like to cut your head off after you've done it. But if you've been specifically, like if you've been really unhonorable, you don't even get the assist. You just have to bleed out, basically. I know that much. I kind of know certain things, random little tidbits about Japanese history and culture and whatnot. Not enough, not as much as I'd really like to. But since that one didn't take very long, I'm gonna do another one. May as well. Sucks that freaking that archer was there. I actually would have got Grandmaster on that. Alright, infiltrate. Oh god, this. Oh jeez, I think I may remember a bit about this. Infiltrate the Manji cult. Alright. I think this one's a bit creepy. Long ago, an evil spirit was trapped in a magical stone. This stone has the power to control minds and alter bodies. It has been stolen by a strange cult, calling itself the Manji. The Manji are using it to go from temple to temple, slowly building an army of zombie-like followers. Soon, they will start attacking villages, then towns, then cities. You must recover the stone and terminate the cult before it's too late. Yeah, what he said. Alright, uh, I don't really remember anything about this mission either, so I'm just going to go with a standard loadout of that, that, uh, a couple grenades, a couple poison rices as well if I need to lure anyone out, and I don't think I can have anything else, so I'll just go through with this. Oof. You have to range cultists, stay alert, stay alive. Uh, stay alive, I can... I think I can happily take that advice. Alright. See that cool music, man? Oh god. Yeah, I don't remember much about this level, apart from it being kind of creepy. Just simply from that briefing, you can tell, really. That would be pretty creepy. I want to get this guy. Okay, that was pretty lucky. Couldn't really see anything once I jumped. I'm glad he turned around. Uh, right, so I need to recover the stone. I don't know if this is the one I'm thinking it is. I'm not sure. But yeah. I apologize that you generally don't get to see down in the streets too often, but it's kind of how you're supposed to play the game. Well, I suppose you can play it in any way that you really want. This is just the way I play it, staying up on the rooftops. 
you're way less likely to be seen that way. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Um, pretty sure this isn't the building. I think I'm supposed to be going to like a really tall building. I don't even know actually. That's the, the problem with not playing this game in freaking forever. I suppose that's kind of good though. Yeah. This building? This is the biggest one, so I'm thinking maybe it is. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh, God. I think. I, no, I don't totally remember if they're undead in this game. Basically, that dude, one of those, I'm not sure if they're the same, but. I think there may be some, I don't know if they're in this game, but there are undead monsters, undead like creature dudes, like the briefing said, that can't be killed, at least not by normal means. And they're really fucking creepy. Like if you was hearing the sound, that little meee, just that alone fucking creeps me out. I'm gonna roll down here. This is how we roll. What? What? I suppose that we got seen. Right, back up on the rooftop. I'm just trying to get better points by getting the stealth kills. Seems like pretty much every time I try, things happen. You just hear them strange sounds they're making? Actually, I think that might be a crow or something. I really don't even remember what building. I'm just gonna assume, actually, that it is that big building. Yeah, that one. I'm gonna try and find an entrance to it. Oh god. Yeah. Stay down. I think hugging the wall keeps you like you're basically in the same kind of. Uh, just roll. I think you're in kind of the same-ish stance as being crouched. So I don't know if it's in this game. Oh, do you see that? How he was noticing me before I could even see him. That's just that's just the PS1's limitations, I guess. That building is definitely enterable. Oh god. Fucking creepy as hell when that guy was loud. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Shit, there's a guy like right to my right. Damn! Yeah, that shows just how good crouching is. He actually didn't see me. Like, not fully. Yeah, I was looking at my key meter. That was definitely... There we go. Hey, so once again, luck saves me there. Yeah, this is definitely where I'm supposed to be. Oh, I'll take that. Like, now that I'm remembering certain levels in certain ways, I actually remember that Ayame actually has it a lot harder than Rikimaru does. Rikimaru's got, like, a lot of things that are just easier and nicer for him. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to... Oh, bollocks. Okay, I'm kind of glad I overshot that. There's a freaking guy up there. I don't remember if that guy's undead in this game, though. I'm just gonna... Okay, if he stays dead, then... Oh. I guess... Okay, then. That makes them a lot less scarier. In in the other games, those guys, you can only kill them with a certain weapon, and that's what makes them really creepy to me. Okay, you're just gonna fall. AI. I know what you want. You want a stone. It's safe inside my belly. 
You're not going to get it. <laughs> you use the stone to hurt people. I will take it, even if it means gutting you. Hey! Yeah, but because that guy was still alive, once again, in an unfair fight. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Uh, I gotta kill this guy. This guy has to die. Archers, as I've said before, can't block. I don't know if I did say that, but Echigoya couldn't, and he's basically the same. So there we go. It's good to use that. That, uh,. Crouch thingy as just a quick turn, really. Explosion. There we go. Well, the combat actually is so much easier in this game because it's so much simpler. Like, when I get around to doing like Wrath of Heaven and whatnot, you'll see that the combat is much more complex. So, I don't know, like, much more, but. You can't just hold back and be fine and then just attack once they're finished. My, my, my precious stone. Burn in hell, you heretic. I found that somewhat amusing. We meet again. Onikage. So you're behind this, too. Come on. <laughs> you're brave, but fools, you will die. Okay. <laughs> you will die. Now, Onikage. Oh, okay. I was going to say he can be a bit of a bastard. Next time. Backflip, backflip. Alright then, I was gonna say, oh, that's, that's not bad. I was gonna say he was a bit of a bastard to fight, but uh, I guess not. But yeah, let's uh, quit from that. Two missions, one video, that's pretty decent. Overwrite save, and that'll be the end of this one. I really hope you enjoy Intentio, because I love this game. I know that it's a bit weird, and the characters just seem to come out of nowhere and start talking in a weird voice. But it's really fun. The games do get better on as they keep going. Although I don't remember much about 2. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Tenchu Stealth Assassins. Good night.